My name is Chris Saka. I'm an investor in wireless and mobile technologies, and I'm paying a lot of attention to how this white spaces movement is going to evolve. What we have before us right now is the single biggest opportunity to put Spectrum back in the hands of public for the public benefit. This is such a great opportunity for innovation, entrepreneurs. It's hard to imagine where the boundaries of this even exist. The entire debate right now is being distracted from where it should be about the policy issues to these details about specific devices being tested on specific networks today. The truth is, none of us can even imagine the full power of these networks. Which devices will exist on them, which applications, which services. The same way when Wi-Fi was created, none of us could imagine everything it would be doing for us today. When the rules for unlicensed spectrum were first drafted, Wi-Fi hadn't even been invented. And yet, fast forward a few years, and not only do we see schools and workplaces covered with Wi-Fi, but we see entire cities covered with Wi-Fi. You know, the broadcasters and their lobbyists have historically opposed anything that would innovate in this space. They opposed Wi-Fi. They opposed VCRs. They opposed satellite television, satellite radio, anything. And yet, if you think about all of these instances of new technology in your life, I'm sure each of them has approved your life and the lives of your families, etc. So the discussion today should be focused on the policy. Do we want to take this spectrum and put it in the hands of the public, for the public good and the benefit of all of you, or do we want to reserve it to the rights of just a few private companies? What we're talking about in this issue is really 100 megahertz of spectrum, more than enough for all the uses that people are talking about. The broadcasters can have more than their fair share and feel confident that their businesses can continue as planned, and yet there's still more than enough room for all these new innovative uses that people in the labs are just starting to invent and discover. I think it's important to point out that this isn't a giveaway. Instead, what it is is it's bringing certainty to an area where there's uncertainty now. As soon as you bring certainty, that touches off a chain reaction of events. Entrepreneurs jump in. They raise investor capital. They build great devices. Application inventors come in. They build applications. Services get launched. All of this ecosystem starts thriving to benefit you and the general public. All the FCC needs to do is create that certainty around this space, and the rest of this will happen. At the end of the day, in this issue, it really comes down to putting this spectrum back into the hands of the people, creating a playground for innovation, entrepreneurship, and public benefit that is bigger than anything we could have ever imagined in this space.